this video on my main channel. I recently made a video on a new game that came out called Anime Odyssey. And the game was attempting to replicate AA like bar for bar, but um, they did not do the best job. They did some things right, but there was a lot of bugs and the game has been taken down. And ever since then, if you've joined this game's Discord, it seems that everything has just been a complete mess. I kind of want to talk about it because it's kind of funny, not gonna lie. Here we have the 25th at 4 p.m. It has finally been released. The dev says we saw the bug reports, we're fixing them. Blah, blah, blah. Long story short, the game gets closed down a little bit later. Hi guys, we need to delay the release again. The, I mean, everybody was expecting this. The game was so buggy, they're gonna have to delay, obviously. My DMs are open for death threats if you mind. Okay, nah, real. By the way, if you read all these, you'll realize that this guy, well, either English isn't his first language or he's just really young, but I think he's just really young. So if he sounds a bit weird sometimes, I think he's just a kid. That's why. Here's the crazy part. After the, the release gets delayed again, Vex, I am quitting as a project manager. I hope you find it well. However, there are a lot of stuff happening. This guy also seems very young and i cannot stand them please don't dm me about the situation i hope anime Aussie has a great future goodbye everyone another guy it's my time to also put in the towel and quit as the community manager of anime odyssey it was very fun but there's so much stuff happening and i don't want to be a part of it so the main people this development process have left so this is actually really reinforcing what a lot of people were saying a lot of people were saying this game was a cash grab and the reason they're saying this is because the early access for this game the biggest tier was ten thousand robux did ten thousand robux for early access vip level three or something like that so a lot of people were saying that this game was just trying to build up high get people to buy the game passes and then on release they took the game down and just got away with the money that's what a lot of people were thinking with what i've seen i think the developer the main developer of this game the string guy actually really wants to get the game out i don't think that's what it was intent being but it might be what ended up happening not gonna lie let's go over this statement he made we're gonna paraphrase some of this stuff but just want to clarify some stuff our previous scripter danny wants to get ownership of anime odyssey out of nowhere and if i wouldn't accept it he would leave me with some other devs i told him he needs to calm down and we set up some things but okay so what i'm getting from this is that a developer for some reason wanted to take ownership of anime odyssey or get a bigger part of the state and they disagreed and he ended up having to fire four developers so it looks like there's a lot of mayhem going on this development team next thing i want to talk about is that we get accused that we stole stuff of another game not a and now that we're using that stuff no we don't most of the game was sold with danny not me so it seems they're getting a lot of accusations of some stuff um it appears king luffy made a video this is a really important one why did i release why did i release and bug anime okay why did i release a buggy anime odyssey is what i'm assuming he's trying to say good question all i can say is our testers did not have had, did not had any data lose bugs and then after we released the game to everyone there was randomly a data lose bug that somehow couldn't get explained why it happened yeah this is a bit hard to read but so apparently in testing these bugs did not come up now a lot of these bugs were pretty substantial so i kind of find that hard to believe but i'll take his word for it am i a bad owner maybe i don't know but i will now try my best to just finish the game and let you guys decide if the game is good after the rework or not see y'all so TLDR, it is a complete mess in this Discord server. There's some mayhem going on. We can already see that six people have had to leave the development of this game. And if we scroll even further down, we will not abandon the game and finish it. This seems to be some exchanges, but I'm not too sure. I don't want to go too specific into the drama since I don't know the details, but I just want to go over like the main stuff. The latest update today at 11 a.m. Guys, I'm done. I think I will look for a new owner. I can't take this pressure. I will make a new announcement of changes soon. So the project manager left, the community manager left, and now the owner of the game is trying to switch it on to somebody else. Okay, this seems to be an exchange between developer King Luffy and Jameer being a middleman. Then you should both talk this out. You should really hear Luffy out. I'm getting lawyers DMing me, man, instead of making announcements. It's not good to post publicly. If I really want to post everything, I would just middleman for the developers. Just want to work things out. I mean, you could give Luffy part ownership and then fix everything for half percent or you get nothing. Game releases and dies. Discord dies. You have zero options. It just looked like you got people to make a list, a lot of things for you and you ended up screwing them over and paying them below minimum wage, which I can take you to court for. I'm not sure if they can take them to court for that unless there's any legally thing binding them i doubt there is um especially since the game made revenue off of what they did okay i'm not gonna lie kind of looks like jameer and king luffy are pressuring this kid into handing over the game but um i guess the game is in a messy state so this is actually really interesting huh we will see now what happens i can 100 say the game will get finished but probably not under my leadership only because only because i lose hope you guys don't need to i i think i can handle the game if you guys have some devs like scriptures and map but just let me know so this oh okay this guy went from in the span of three hours he went from saying he's looking for a new owner and now he's saying he thinks he can handle when he's looking for some new developers so anime odyssey released got taken down within the first day it seems there is accusations of people being underpaid of people not being heard of the developers screwing people over people are thinking it's a cash grab this seems just really messy um overall this is kind of crazy and it seems that king luffy is pressuring this guy into selling him the game for 50 percent and that he will try to take over it this what 
This is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. I know this is all very messy, but like I said, I've just been in the Discord server and like I feel, I swear to God, like every two hours I'm getting pinged with a new announcement. And this is just kind of funny to me. Like, this is crazy, bro. Like, this new game dropped and within an hour it's down and like now all this is happening. Do you guys think it was a cash grab? Do you guys think this was him seriously trying to make a good game? Let me know what y'all think. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Have a good one.